Lots happening in my life, man. I'm getting older, trying to figure things out. Been learning a lot about myself. Been learning a lot about myself. I feel like we can agree on this here. This is a nice small group meeting here. I feel like we can agree and say out loud tonight together that we are all afraid of the dark. Make some noise, you're afraid of the dark. Let me hear you. <laughs> Room full of liars. Listen to me, listen to me. Cause I see you looking around. You got a two car garage, you eat couscous now. I'm a grown person. I get it, listen to me though. Let me be clear. I don't mean if just like these lights went out in this room. I mean all the lights in the whole city went out. I give us three minutes before we lose our minds. <laughs> the whole light, your phone don't work. The whole city, I give us three minutes. Look around you, three minutes before we lose our minds. The first minute, we'll keep it cool. We'll keep it cool. I go to Applebee's once a month. I know what I'm, I'm a professional, right? <laughs> But around 90, 95 seconds though, you start feeling stuff on the back of your neck you ain't feel from earlier. <laughs> Two minutes, you start calling for people who you thought was in the room with you, right? Jessica, you still in here? James, mom, papa, hello! You start trying to listen with your whole body. You ever try to listen with your whole body? <laughs> Three minutes, total chaos. Three minutes, we start kicking over old people. Where are the kids? I don't know, we gotta go. We out of there, three minutes. Now I'm gonna tell you how I knew I was 100% afraid of the dark. I'm gonna let you know how I knew I was 100% afraid of the dark. I was on a cruise ship a couple years ago to let you know how my career's going, okay? <laughs> I'm doing some shows and I had the ice cream for breakfast, so I wake up at 2 a.m. as you do. Don't judge me, it's a tight budget. So I'm asleep, it's a two o'clock in the morning, the room is pitch black and I wake up, pitch black room and I just see my bathroom door open by itself. I don't think everybody heard me. I said I'm in the middle of the ocean. I'm asleep, I wake up, pitch black room and the bathroom door opens on its own. I go, take the baby and I ran out the door. The stewardess saw me, she was nervous. I was only wearing socks. It was a tough moment for both of us out here. Very hot on deck zero. <laughs> two things, I wanna be honest with you, two things. Number one, there was not a baby in the room. That would have been weird. <laughs> but if I'm being very honest with you, I would give up an unknown baby for my safety. I would do it, I would do it. Can we say it together? Because babies are overrated. Thank you, listen, they are, they're not here. You can say it out loud here. They don't know English, say it out loud. Babies are overrated. This is how we all can agree on this. We've all, have you ever seen a baby that looks like he came out after his expiration date? <laughs> An expired baby, don't cover your face, you pay for this laugh. So you understand what I'm saying? A baby with a weak neck and a lazy eye, you wanna push back in for 10 more minutes of defrost? A boiled chicken baby, you understand what I'm saying? Out here, I'm just saying, every baby's not created equal, that's all I'm saying. Some babies are Gerber babies, some babies are Muppet babies. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? Babies, that's all I'm saying, that's all I'm saying.